What is going on everybody, welcome back to Hearts of Man 4 as Italy. In this let's play, we are off to a good start, I think we conquered Ethiopia and you know, even I could find a way to screw that up. <laughs> so, there we go. I'm just trying to do better than the Italian AI can normally do basically, so that's always a good start. In terms of the armies that I said I was going to look how to get back, I'm thinking about it. I think we should probably keep them here for now, although saying that, our tanks are here, so that's always good. Maybe that is, maybe we should try and bring these pink guys back, I, d I don't know. But for now, I'm happy to leave them here for a little bit longer. That's 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 okay. I'll I'll sort it out. <laughs> By I'll sort it out, it means we might see them before World War Two begins, maybe. So we have 100k troops in training, so we are very quickly going to burn through all that manpower. So hopefully, there's a way in the focus tree to get some more. I haven't really looked. Normally, there is. Once you go to war, people start signing up, and all that good stuff. So hopefully, that will happen. How are we doing with our construction at the moment? All those civilian... Yeah, we're getting through stuff pretty quickly. We have a good amount of civilian factories. I'm wondering, should we just build a line of... Do we have a line of... Do we have any forts in this region? I'm wondering... I don't really normally play with the other stuff, but I'm just wondering, would like a fortification line here... Because I'm not too bothered about France. I assume Germany will get it done as usual eventually. And like, I'm happy for them to have all of that. Like, that's cool. Well, they just leave us alone to do what we want. And we can kind of be like semi-allies, if you know what I mean. I mean, we'll probably be fighting similar people, I just don't really want to. So I'm going to take a bold decision, and uh, I'm going to build a fortification line along this border. I assume, can you just, you can build lots of forts, okay. Fall of Beijing, well that was pretty quick. Let's get like a two-level fort system going, because we're getting quite a lot built. I'm also going to build some military factories, obviously, but yeah, just, I don't, yeah, that seems like a cool idea to me. Maybe just build a little fortification line so that we can defend better against the French. Like I said, I'm not too desperate. I mean, if we can like get up to this river or something, just a little chunk, I'm sure that would be valuable to us. But it's not the end of the world. Uh, I think, can we... Okay, I just scrolled over. I was like, where, where do all this stuff go? We can't do much more with tanks for another couple of years. Industry, we're all done. Let's quickly go for this, just to get the synthetic refinery. This is an available thing, because fuel... Could maybe do with some more fuel. It's it's fallen. It's it's increasing, but it has fallen from where it started. What are you guys up to? Armed neutrality. <laughs> sounds sounds reasonable. That sounds very Swiss. They are being led by a building right now, so that makes sense. Status quo, general rearmament, and then there's privatized the Reichsbahn. Oh, and there we go. The Commando Supremes have been been uh, improved. War of positions, what does this do? Defense plus 5%, entrenchment speed 25%, reshuffle the officer corps, remove national spirit, bloated military bureaucracy. That's what we wanted to do. That will get rid of all those negative multipliers we were suffering from, so that's good. And now we're starting to use more of the tanks, we do need to invest more into them. It's saying we can build these P-75 tanks, I don't think we're using them yet. Obviously I could edit these could edit these division Solares, maybe remove a couple of the horses to make our own unique version, And that, but I can't, yeah, it won't let me add tanks to that, so that's fine. Can you just build your own division from scratch? Oh, it looks like you can. I'm just thinking we could go for some sort of fast-paced division. What, so this, I just want to see, what is in the infantry divisions? Like, what do they consist, they just consist of six infantry. These are mountain troops. These are colonial troops, which are just not as good as normal troops, I think. This is obviously the fast brigade thing, but they're not that fast. And these guys, just horses? Yeah, just horse divisions. So I think this is a completely fresh one. It says Defanterea, but I think that is just saying, create empty. There we go, new division. Let's call this fast invasion divisions. Not fat invasion. <laughs> fast divisions. That makes sense. Fast division. Like I'll come up with some more... I don't even think that's how you spell division. I feel like an idiot right now. I think there's another I in there. What does this mean? None. Colonial division, infantry, cavalry, garrison. Oh, motorized division. Okay, there we go. I can only have one at a time. Armored battalion, heavy tank. We have... Okay, we can add more. Okay, that's good. I want to add a new group. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Make a selection. Motorized infantry, armored car. I don't know. More heavy tanks. So three... Two lots of light tanks and two heavy tanks. That would be good. 
Let's have two lots of motorised infantry to keep it quick, and then maybe just a couple of regular infantry. These are going to be quite big divisions. Save for 48. Does it say what the heavy tank is? I assume it's the one we have, right? Like, that makes sense to me. That's my first ever division that I've created. We're starting to run out of equipment for some of these infantry divisions, so let's cut loose on that. We were very much, you know, I, I just went aggressive on building them all at once. I was going to cut back on these. I'm just going to start by adding one of this new division, because it might be like, I don't know, I've never made a division before. That might be ridiculously like overpowered or not necessary. We're not even building the heavy tanks yet, so... Obviously there's things like that to consider. We have a new infantry. Apparently we're strong enough to fight off the French now, just all of a sudden. I don't know if that is the game. I don't think that's the forts making the difference, because they haven't actually been built yet. I think that's just France maybe reshuffling their troops around. But yeah, I, I don't I don't see that change. I think they fluctuate far too much. We shouldn't read into it too much right now. Oh, we just got five new divisions, so I'm going to send three more to our French dude. Couple more to our Yugoslavian front for now. That's all good. I don't know. Did any of those tank divisions... Oh, US passes Neutrality Act. With tensions rising around the globe, US Congress has seen the scene of intense discussions of the role the US should play. Concerned, might be secretly planning to intervene. Great war, keep the US out. Eager to shore up support for his proposed programs of development. Sign the Neutrality Act. Heavy restrictions on trade with nations at war. Okay, so America's staying out for now. I'm sure that will change. Yes, yeah, so we do need heavy tanks. That's something we need to add next time we get access to a military factory for our fast divisions, as their great name. They are hopefully the ones that are going to sort of just drive the drive into Yugoslavia, basically. A bit of a blitzkrieg going on there, hopefully. Or just for us to have some tanks in general. <laughs> if they're all together, it's just easier for me to manage it, but still... Soviet Union going with their five-year plan, expansion of new towns, okay, I don't know what people are up to, I just like seeing what they're up to, it's fun, I'm just hoping there's one country like going off the map, doing something, not off the map, but you know, off the grid, just doing something completely random, we're up to 15% fascist, it's now the second most popular party in Romania, they will hopefully help us in our conquering of the Balkans, here's China, they're holding on for now, but the moment I assume it's going in Japan's favor it does look like yeah it's 21% in favor of Japan and unassigned divisions they just keep coming through actually we've got another four that is quite quick uh, I'm gonna send three of them to Yugoslavia front and one to the French front where we're now once again heavily outnumbered that's always a good sign but you know we're we're not meant to be super strong. It's all good. Oh, and there's another one here. You come over there too. To Italy. Recruit and deploy. So this is going fine. I'm going to cut back on the infantry just a little bit. So that some of those resources can go elsewhere. I'm going to add a couple units of these fast divisions. It says we have we have most of the equipment. The issue is the heavy tanks. And we do now have some military factories to commit to those. Is there a way to lift? So we're not actually using this artillery, right? And none's being produced anyway. So I'm going to get rid of it. We're producing no convoys either, so we desperately need to trade for some steel with someone. But I do just want to add a heavy tank line. Is there a way to move it up? Yes. No. I don't want to collapse it. I just want to... Is there a way to lift it up? I'm kind of... Ah, there we go. That's that's perfect. Not that it matters. It's just they're the thing I want to see. Um, so let's stick both our factories there. And I actually do want to look at what we need. We need a lot of steel. Now that is going to cost a lot in terms of civilian factories. So we should probably build some more of them. So let's consider this. Okay, civilian factories. Where do I want to put these? I think, obviously we could put them in North... Okay, we can't put them in North Africa yet, but I want to put them somewhere that we're probably not going to... I'm going to just fill it. Sicily is going to become... That's a gamble, but I'm hoping we can defend it well enough. I'll send some more troops there to defend it. That's kind of where I was thinking about putting those troops from Africa if they came back. Just defend Sicily and make it kind of like an industrial hub. That could really work out for us. We're not using the artillery. We don't want to go for that just yet. 1937. Okay, it's still 1937, so we don't want to start this stuff. So we can just go for something a little little out there. Maybe something like a sniper team. Or some winter clothing. I don't know, desert jungle clothes. What did we finish? I'm, I'm a bit lost. What did we... Maybe we should go for a new boat? Can we... Can you improve convoy? You can, uh, Landing craft's not available yet. That's fine. So it says transport ships, but I have no idea how to use them. <laughs> Um, so these boats are available, 
I don't really know what sorts we're building, but I guess we can just research one of those. We've got some time to kill, basically. Missing equipment production, artillery. I don't get, what do we need the, I don't get who's using artillery. Are you using artillery? Are these divisions, do they have artillery? No? I, yeah, I'm really lost as to why we need artillery. Who? No one is using it. I'm a bit lost. Um, and none of it was being produced anyway. But you know what, if it's going to make the game happy that I'm at least, at least putting some out there, then like, I guess, I don't know, just keep, keep making it for now, if we have nothing better to do. The fall of Nanjing, which is the actual Chinese capital in this game, obviously Beijing fell earlier, but Nanjing is the capital in this time period, so that's pretty big. Should we try and convert Iceland to fascism? Ireland would be an interesting one. Imagine if they... I mean, you could probably do it to Ireland. I don't know if I want to spend more political power, though. Maybe once we have Romania. Because Ireland, that would just be like a... Even if... I imagine the UK could take them out pretty easily. But you never know. What am I trying to do right now? What are we, what are we trying to do? Something. We should be exercising our divisions, I think. I think that's what we should be doing. To level them up. So these ones on the Italian border, they are suffering from some big attrition actually right now. So let's have them garrison this area so they spread out, suffer a bit less. Purple divisions, again, exercise. I think this is something I need to do more of. And that should keep them leveling up and becoming pretty good troops, hopefully. Okay, we just finished some research. Let's have a look. We did just finish the convoy thing submarines i think it does look like we have a lot of submarines that is something i have noticed so let's i'm happy to go grab that prepared defense is going well and yeah we're just getting through the technologies we've done all the other stuff why i gave you all that area and you still managed to pick somewhere where you are starving <laughs> like seriously can you not just oh they can do okay you can spread that spread them out just go spread out guys stop starving you you still pick an area in the snow like, are you serious? Stop doing press-ups in the mountains. Should I send them all on holiday down here to where it's, like, warm? Probably. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's a new idea. As we're not at war just yet. Garrison. Not that area. Come down here to where I assume there is more resources. Purple guys. Not in the snow. That was, that was my bad idea. I did not really think about that. I thought spreading them out would do enough because there's only nine of them. It's not like they're still suffering attrition individually, so that can't be good. But there we go. They'll go spread out. Go down there, guys. I know. Just completely leave our borders exposed. But go train. We're not planning to go to war soon. Go train. Get really good. Become amazing. That's the plan now. They're still suffering attrition. I mean, this is... I don't know what I'm supposed to do at this point. Like, what? If there's one division stood there and they're suffering attrition, maybe they just suffer attrition when they're training. Maybe that's what it is. Are you guys? Yeah, it looks like everyone is. Okay, I think that's just what... I think that's just the game's way of telling me they're using resources. I don't think it's so much that they're dying. Question the high demand. Add attack skill 1 to every leader. Or gain national spirit, fresh doctrines, grants speeds to doctrines. That would be nice. We still haven't left the League of Nations, but that is fine. War of Positions is still available. Grants defense and entrenchment speed. Those are both good. Which is, I'm going to go back to the infrastructure for a bit. Add some buildings. I'm very tempted by these colonial investments. A Cavagnari's plan. Available as chief of navy, commerce raiding specialist, or this guy which will grant decisive battle. This guy's more for fighting with boats, so let's get him. Get him in. Get him through those doors. Get him leading us. Right, some more heavy tanks, please. So we, we need more tanks in general. We have plenty. Actually, I'm going to remove a couple of ones from the guns. I'm sure I'll forget. And it will turn out disastrously. But let's put those over towards the tanks. And now let's go to trade. Trade is something we need to do a bit more of. So first up, we need a lot of steel. Like I'm already bringing in quite a bit from Turkey. I would like to up that to... Steel will use... Yes, I know it will. 48. I mean, we should probably go 56 anyway. That is a lot. But still, please tell me that, that was not steel. That was chromium. Can I cancel a trade deal? Okay, that, that was very quick to cancel. That's at least something. Donald Trump, I tell you what, he would love to play Hoi 4. <laughs> I feel like this is his kind of game. Um, okay, 
that this is what we want steel france us soviet union let's not buy it from them uk no german reich yeah i mean <laughs> if there's someone to buy our steel from i feel like it's him and at least i feel like our factories that are being used will contribute towards our efforts and then 22 of this from turkey so i didn't mean to end it turkey and there we go let's just do one extra there we go. So that does give us some resources that we need. I mean, only just enough available, but still, we've got to do it, right? We do need no template for what? Anti-tank 30. I, I want to punch, like, <laughs> I want to just punch something. Like, why? <laughs> you tell me all that time. Like, you don't need, you need artillery. And now it's like, oh no, but you don't. We now have five years worth of fuel. I don't know if that's just because we've been peaceful for a while or whatever. But either way, our troops are enjoying the exercise. I don't actually know how to know how much they've exercised. Um, I assume it's some, there's somewhere that obviously says, maybe, I think that's the general stats, so ignore that. I think it does come up in here somewhere with little stars and stuff when they have improved. France and Britain announced alliance. Okay, so I think France just joined the Allies. Yes, they did. Okay, probably a good move. I don't know why this area is all white, by the way, in this map mode. Is that just the snow? Maybe. I'm guessing. Also, I think these guys have changed colour. They are French Indochina is now very bright. Bright blue. Well, Japan's making good progress. So that's, I guess, a good sign for the Axis for now. I assume they will still join up. Unless they form their own co-prosperity sphere, which I mean, so far that exists, but they can obviously, I think they can leave it and just join the Axis as well. Later on, I think they do have that luxury. They, I don't know what these spanners are next to all our naval dockyards. They're very small, I don't know if they mean much, but... Are these all our commando naval... See, I don't know what is going on with these boats. I have no idea how to use them. I'll just set them all with missions when the time comes. Franco is expanding civilian manufactures. That's good. I wish I could do that. We're appointing this guy. Whoa, is the Romanian flag chain? Nope, it's the same. 19% though. We are getting there. Reveal mineral wealth. Do you know what we do need to do? We need to spend some political power. Okay, our first division, Celere, is available. It will join the Yugoslavian forces. And the other one has arrived. That will fill out our first army. It will go to France. We'll start a new one soon. But let's get them both full first. Although that might be a bit overkill on one border opposed to the other. I don't really know how many troops it's going to take to crack Yugoslavia. But I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Free dockyards. Um, it's building these boats fine that are in the queue. So commit them all now heavily to convoys. That's That's been my kind of strategy every time I've played Hoi 4. If we're, <laughs> we won't defend the convoys very well. But we'll just have lots of them. Like, I think I had over a thousand in one of them. Where I just put it all straight away onto convoys. And it worked out pretty well. All things considered. There's still no ledger in this game, which I guess is fair enough, because, you know, some of the technology is about encryption, decryption, stealing information, but it would be kind of fun to have some sort of ledger just to watch and see. That obviously appeals to me. Okay, keep on joining up. A point Campione is done. You two join. There we go. We do need it. Let's give them a commander. They're all pretty bad. I mean, this I say they're pretty bad. This guy from Africa, he's probably not needed down there anymore. He <laughs> come over this way. Develop southern shipyards, aircraft carriers. Let's move away from that. We probably do want to go for Regia Aeronautica as well at some point. But we'll we'll take a bit of a chance. I mean, it's already we're only what one year and a bit out from September night, a year and three quarters away. We've not really got that far down this stuff. We still don't want to leave the League of Nations yet. War of Positions, question the High Command. General Equipment Mobilization Time. Let's do that. Let's keep adding these divisions. I think that was a new tank division. Yeah, there's a lot of troops. I'm going to try and redo this again. And I, I think we need to just really spread them out. Like one, two. You guys have the north. And then purple dude. You will get access to that area and all of the south. And hopefully, hopefully that will... I mean, I think they're always going to suffer attrition, but that might just help a little bit. 
This guy can manage 72, and so can this one, but that's because they're garrisoned. I think I've had this issue before. I think the second you end up in a war, they go back down to 24. So I wouldn't get too carried away with that. But yeah, I don't think we can complain about the attrition. I think that's just going to happen no matter what. I just, I, I'm just a bit stressed about it. Maybe you guys will tell me it's not true. And that's, that's not good, because i got to get a few episodes ahead, so I won't be able to respond to it as normal, which is a shame. Unassigned division again. Very nice. Okay, so this Hungarian army is going to have a lot more of the division celeres. We won't be having... Yeah, attrition almost all caused by the exercise. Okay, that, that's really reassuring. There was like 0.3% of it was just from where they were stood. But he... This dude's... Yeah, this purple army's going to have a lot of tanks. I might end up switching it to be on the French front and have the blue one go towards Yugoslavia. I intend to have like 20... 48 divisions on this front and then just 24 plus extras that could pop along when we hopefully invade Yugoslavia or they, they might join our team but I think that's unlikely lots of new divisions being added yet yeah, we're already nearly at 24 again they're really coming out now this is nearly done I think the heavy tanks are starting to come through some of the early fast divisions so that's good I might rearrange all the armies before it really gets going anyway so you can just spend 100 to gain 100% bonus. So you can actually spend these military points. I will consider that later on. I don't know if you, I don't think can you do it on it all technologies? No, you can only do it on doctrines, but still that's pretty good. But it's now 1938, we should definitely be going for all the all the computing machines and stuff now. We've sort of fallen behind on that one. Yeah, we're 2 years in already. Italy's looking pretty good, I think. <laughs> I hope so. We're definitely mobilizing. Can't really tell how well we're doing, but I think it's going okay. And how's the construction of all construction going? Okay, so most of those stuff is done. Oh no, there's, there's lots of civilian factories still to be done, but the fort, the fortifications have all been built, which means we should be a little bit tougher. Obviously, it could work the other way. If they were to suddenly push in and take it all before I was ready, then they would have the fortifications. But we do now have them, so that's at least something. Kind of. Yeah, that will hopefully work. I might build some sort of sea defences around our islands, especially I want to kind of fortress Sicily, <laughs> maybe. That will be the plan for us. All right, let's go to industry. Okay, we can't do anything actually this year. There's some oil things, but we'll give that a miss, and let's get decimetric radar. Get that discovered. Submarine operations is coming along. Yeah, we're still pushing down the doctrines for those bonuses. And how did we do on removing stuff? We removed a lot of this. I mean, there's still lack of powered motors. Oh, lack of, lack of, one of the main weaknesses of the Air Force is lack of plane. Okay, we definitely need to put a bit of focus onto planes. Right, what can we get here? Armor research speed. Can we get one for construct, armor reliability, medium tanks? We have heavy tanks at the moment. We're, our main focus is light tanks, though, as much as there is heavies. Attack speed breakthrough. Yeah, let's go with them. Ship designer. Naval research speed, capital ships, armor down, down. But this makes, okay, so these guys build them quickly, but not as good. These guys seem to be better all around. Aircraft designer, air research speed, all of them give you 15%. So that's difficult. This one lets us produce loads. Permanently affect capabilities of all equipment research while they are hired. These guys give them better abilities. Heavy strategic bombing. Air attack and agility. I feel like we should just go for production. I mean, we don't even have many at all right now. There are so many things. This is so difficult to choose. How am I supposed to know what is best? Uh, most of them are the same, actually, but still. Ferrari. I feel like we should just have Ferrari, like, just for the sake of having Ferrari. What do they do? Motorization, research speed up, oh, motorized hardness. I'm not really doing that much with motorized stuff. Let's leave that, and let's get in a chief of army. Army defense, army morale, army maneuver, army offense. So we do want attack, speed, recovery. Let's go recovery. We're in this for the long haul. And that is all our military power. Pretty much expended for now. Romania is coming along. It's 20%. It's slowly, slowly churning. <laughs> Hopefully. We just want one little extra bit of help because I assume Germany will forget. So didn't really pay much attention to it, but we do now have a big border with them. They managed to take Austria. They're obviously scared of me because they're here. <laughs> But there we go. That was pretty quick. Obviously, the Czechs did build up that fortification. I think they do that every game, so I don't think Germany will be too worried. But we'll keep an eye on that, see if they keep it going. 
Right, I want to see if there's a national focus that gives me a load of manpower. I highly doubt it, but you never know. <laughs> you can hope. It doesn't look like it, to be honest. But still, we can try. I assume we can get down here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a big one for lots of manpower. Some of them do have one, or just raising war support sort of thing. Maybe some of these will. We'll see. But for now, we've kept that part of the tree. Pre Ooh, Uruguay joins the Allies. I mean, I'm not sure what sort of threat Uruguay felt, but fair enough. What does this do? Fresh Doctrine. Okay, so this gives us research, but that would be nice. But at the same time, do we leave the League yet? Yeah, I think we'll save that till at least 1939. Spend some more time improving. Getting as much research speed out there as we can. Just go away. I have picked the research. Leave me alone. <laughs> Stop telling me I haven't. So experience level 11. Regular 1. So what is... I mean, the problem is there's not really someone to compare that to, is there? They're all experience level 11. Okay, what about these guys that haven't done any training? Experience level 8. Okay, so it is making quite a difference. They're already up three levels from level 8 to level 11. So I think this is going to prove potentially quite worth it. I don't know. Can, does it show us what France's are? No. But um, hopefully, hopefully it all works out for us. Just trying to see, is there any like random politics going on anywhere that you wouldn't expect? Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it just yet. It looks like we're we're spared from that one for now. Great, great Italy, just churning away. Hopefully, how are we doing on this? Okay, yeah, we. I think the heavy tanks is. Oh no, light tanks are now struggling. We're not actually building. We haven't built military factories for a while, and obviously, we're quite low on civilians, so it's slowed a little bit in that front. But let's just slap down a few more in the north here. As soon as these civilian factories in Sicily are done, they will vastly contribute to this. We actually have, oh no, is this three? Yeah, they are building three more. Then this will be done. The fortification project is done. So at least that's something. <laughs> at the very least, like we don't have to invade straight away when the war breaks out. We can always just hold them back, use the forts, keep them at bay. Obviously, they're going to have bigger issues, I would assume, if we ended up at war at the same time as Germany, or probably going to be afterwards if we're going our own path which is kind of the plan. I want to actually just sort of map that path out. So leave League of Nations would be the first step. What does the stab in the back do? I think this is the one that sort of pushes us away from Germany. Actually, no. I think that pushes us away from fascism as a whole. Ultimate cooperation. Oh, no. Militarize the Rome protocol. I think we want to get to here. That looks like it might be right, because that's we don't want a war with Germany. So we probably want to get to here, and then from there we can do this Operation Tibero. Yes, that looks like a plan. And then from there, maybe Greece. Yeah, I like the look of that. Maybe not Turkey, but then we could obviously go Bulgaria. And obviously, I want Romania on my team, so I don't really mind if I can get them. I assume this is what forms mutually exclusive with cooperation with Germany. Oh, but then we could create a faction. That's Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Can create faction. That'd be cool. Americans and British gunboats attacked by Japanese aircraft. Okay, does Japan have no limits? Cool, whatever. Modify government again. Um, military high command. Armor. Ec okay, we can't actually afford one of those. We can only get one of the cheap policies that I don't want. So that's all good. We'll move on from that. But yeah, I'm excited. We're going to have Albania as well. So maybe that's where we could actually push position those troops that are currently in Africa. That might be a good idea. Just shift them over. Stick them. That guy looks really scary. I would not want to follow him into battle. But never mind. <laughs> We did heavily lower our factories by trading them, but I think the resources were just something we needed more of if we want to keep this up. So I think it's a good move. And trading with Germany and Turkey is not too much of an issue. Obviously, Turkey might cut back on that being democratic at some point, but for now, it's not an issue. Okay, some new divisions coming through. Very nice. Just keep adding them. Hang on, are they all here? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Okay, so we're about to hit 24. We'll need to create a new new army in Europe. That's fine. So how many divisions do we have in total? 47, 49, 57, 
72. Okay, that's not too bad. That's more than Spain had. So I'll take that as a win, <laughs> I guess. 1938 World Cup held in France. This was the third edition of the tournament. 15 teams competed. Switzerland upset Germany, beating the Germ. Swiss were knocked out by Hungary. Hungary made it all the way to the final where Italy won. There we go. Glory to Italy. That's, that is what we needed. I did not know that was a notification. I've not seen that before. I assume because I've not played with Italy before. That's pretty cool. So there we go. We won the World Cup. Now everyone's going to hate us, aren't they? Was it a dodgy like VAR decision that won us the World Cup? Maybe, maybe, maybe everyone's going to hate us forever. Right. These are still being researched. Which is kind of annoying. Infantry. Can we do that? We can now get ammunition upgrades. So let's do that. Some more unassigned divisions. That takes... Okay, they got the first division auto trasp Piave. I think that is the name, but they are a far, the first fast division. It's just given them a cool Italian name. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, let's, yeah, okay. What does it actually do? Political power. Okay, we don't need that yet. We are still focused very much on this stuff. Build military... So add production of 25 steel. Oh! <gasps> That's like a dream come true. That means we can get our civilian factories back. There we go. That's what we need. But that is going to be it for this episode. As always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like on the video. Be sure to leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.